Okay guys, welcome to wildlife vlog number two. And I'm right now at camp with a bunch of kids. This is awesome. And there's a black vulture nest. It also has chicks. And I swear to God, I've never seen a more aggressive vulture. Very, look at that. Right, oh my gosh, it's, it's trying to. Oh no, it can't hurt you. I mean, it technically won't. What do you mean? Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't no, I'm not. No, don't do that. That's good. <laughs> okay. uh, it's going to throw up all over you. It won't, oh, yeah. probably will not peck your eyeballs out, but it will. <laughs> oh, go light. Go pet it. No. Hey. Can I pet him? Is that like a YouTube or something? Yeah. He wants to pet him. It's a wildlife vlog. Uh, I guess oh, you want to pet it. He's gone now. And, uh. Look at that, that's uh, the black vulture is uh, smaller than the turkey vulture, but it is heavier than it, than the turkey vulture, and it also, uh, uh, they can be aggressive sometimes, vultures, they, uh, like any animals, they're just trying to defend themselves, and uh, unlike other birds of prey, they have weak talons and weak beaks, and they can't really, uh, God, I have so many flies all over me. Birds of prey. You know who's in the birds of prey? Oh, corn. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's the thing about vultures. There's new vulture. world new world vultures and old world vultures. Old world, world vultures are actually true, vul the only true vultures. This is an example of convergent evolution where they'll, uh, where, uh, like, They've evolved to scavenge. These vultures, the New World vultures, which consists of the condors, turkey vultures, and the black vulture, are more related to storks, actually, than true birds of prey. And you, and you can tell because they like to, they share some of the same behaviors. Much like marabou storks in Africa, these vultures will scavenge as well as eat any live animal. Any live animal. And, uh, don't want to disturb it but if you could see right there its feet are white because it poops all over its legs to keep cool and it's scorching hot outside so i don't blame him i bet if i went back to its nest over there then it would probably attack me vultures they mate for life and and they each take turns taking care of their young so if I went over there and started looking at its chicks or something, it would probably come at me and throw up all over me. And considering that vultures like to eat dead animals, yeah, that is, that's disgusting. All right, now I'm sorry I didn't get a uh, proper video of the vulture chick. Yeah, that's because I just d don't want to go back into that place. It, I walked in it accidentally and I saw it. I thinking it was an outhouse but turns out it wasn't and there was a black vulture nesting in there and uh even though vultures you know even though they do they do not carry any diseases even after eating dead animals they can actually digest all that bacteria and even though I'm technically not in any danger I just don't want to go back in there because there's probably some other stuff like surrounding the place that could be potentially deadly. After all, it is an abandoned outhouse after all. I just needed to look for somewhere to, 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 to you know. Unlike turkey vultures which feed exclusively on carrion, black vultures will attack some living animals too, specifically small birds, mammals, and invertebrates. And uh, thank God that I didn't sniff out my beef jerky in here. Oh man. Yeah. No God didn't sniff this out and take it from me. All right, now here is a better view of the vulture chick. Wow. All right, now I'm going to leave it alone. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this wildlife vlog number two. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'm hoping to do some more of these. I'm having some fun with them. 
Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.